Praise the Lord, for this is the day that the Lord has made. The psalmist says, let us rejoice and be glad therein. We give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who Paul said is our life, for in him we live, we move, and we have our being. We're grateful to God for our being here today. We thank God for each of you that have tuned in to another broadcast of The Word Ministries. If this is your first time tuning in, we welcome you to The Word Ministries, and we pray that something is said or done, amen, through this ministry that will encourage you the more, amen, to lift up your eyes unto the hills from which come your help. For all of your help comes from the Lord, which made the heaven and earth. We will look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, the one who came into this world to save sinners. Amen. Amen. The one that come to seek and to save that which is lost. And his name is Jesus Christ, the one who it is his will and desire that all mankind be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. And the truth is, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believed on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And that's the truth. The truth is, God loved us. Amen. Even while we were yet sinners. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Loved us. When we were yet without strength, in due time, Jesus Christ died for the ungodly. Even when we were like sheep gone astray and everyone was led, amen, to go his own way, the Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was placed upon him. And a good news today is, amen, by amen, our iniquities, amen, our sins, our transgression placed upon him. But amen, but yet, amen, amen, by his stripes, we are healed. And I thank God for knowing that he's a healer today. We're praying for you that are going through Amen. The sickness. Amen. Not just the coronavirus. Amen. That is uh, of great concern. And, uh, and, and, and all of the other things that's going on in this world with the economy and with life itself, uncertainty of life. Amen. If it's any time to lift our eyes to Jesus, that time is right now. Amen. He has said in his word, amen, that if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will we hear from heaven. He said he will heal the land and forgive their sin. Amen. So we're going to look to Jesus. Amen. He's the healer. We're going to look to Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. We're going to look to Jesus. He is the door of the sheep. And by him, if anyone enter, they shall be saved. Amen. Jesus, we lift our eyes to you. We look to you. We cast all of our cares upon him, for he cares for us. Praise the name of God. I want you to be encouraged today to not be weary in well-doing. In due season, you're going to reap if you faint not. In spite of the heavy load that is on you right now, in spite of the burdens that you're carrying in this life, Amen. At home, in on your job. Amen. Amen. Even, amen, in your community, wherever, wherever ever you're at. Amen. Sometimes the burdens are heavy, amen, and hard to bear. Seems like the weight of the world is on your shoulder. Amen. And sometimes you're left not knowing 
where to turn, which way to turn, or who to turn to. I want you to be encouraged today, amen, to know what Jesus has to say about your burdens, about your heavy load, about your back against the wall, about the weight of the world that is on your shoulder. Jesus has a say in this matter, and amen. And what did he say in Matthew eleven twenty eight? 28? Amen. Those are key words. Amen. If the weight of the world is on your shoulder, if you're going through one thing after another, amen, Amen. Matthew eleven twenty eight says, Amen. Jesus says, Come to me, all who labor, all that are heavy laden. And he said that I will give you rest. He says, Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. Amen. And you shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burdens, they are light. Amen. Truly, whatever we're going through, we can go to Jesus. We can take it to the Lord in prayer. Amen. When we take it to Jesus, you're taking it to one that is a friend that will stick closer than any brother. I'm talking about one that will love you at all times. One that can relate to what you you've been through, one that can relate to what you're going through. We have not an hot priest which cannot be touched by our infirmity. He was like us and always tempted. Amen. But yet he was able to do it without sin. No sin, amen, was ever found in him. No guile was ever found in his mouth. Amen. He is that perfect sacrifice. Amen. If we're going to go to anyone, let's go to that perfect perfect sacrifice, and his name is Jesus. When we go to him, amen, amen, whatever you need, he'll do it for you. If it's saving, he saves to the utmost. If it's healing, he heals all manner of sickness and disease. If you're going through some trials and some troubling situation, amen, praise the name of God. God is our refuge. God is our strength. He is a very present help in trouble. You can count on him. You can depend on him. Amen. Helen Miller says you can lean on him. Amen. Praise the name of God. He won't let you fall. You can lean on him. We're going to go to the throne of grace in prayer. Amen. Knowing that God hear and that God adds a prayer. He is a prayer answering God. He told us to ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. He said, whatever you ask in my name, that will I do. He said, the effectual, fervent prayers of a righteous man, a man availeth much. So, amen. so we want to go to God in faith. We want to go to God in prayer. Amen. But we have to give ourselves over to him. Amen. In order to be righteous. Amen. It is only through him that we become the righteousness of God not through works, amen, and if it was not by works of righteousness which you have done that he saved you, but it was according to his mercy, amen, he saved you, amen, you're saved by his grace through faith, not of yourselves, not of works, amen, amen, but by the grace of God, it is the gift of God, lest anyone should boast, if we're going to boast about anything, if we're going to boast about about anyone, let it be about the things of God. Let it be about Jesus Christ. Let's boast about him. Amen. Tell somebody if it had not been the Lord who was on your side. Amen. You still would have been a drunkard. You still would have been a dope addict. Amen. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, you still be a whoremonger. Praise the name of God. And, amen. And I want to tell you today, you still amen, have not dotted every eye. You have not crossed every T and you have not stopped at every period. Amen. You've been found wanton. Amen. Praise the name of God. Out of all we can do, amen, we can still draw a little closer to God. Amen. Draw not to him. He said, I will draw not to you. Praise the name of God. We still can come a little closer. Amen. We're saved by grace through faith. Amen. But we, amen, sometimes are like babes. Amen. That the 
desire the sincere milk of the word that we might grow thereby. We grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I can hear God saying today, come a little closer. Amen. I want to talk to you. Come a little closer. I want to elevate you. Come a little closer. I want to take you to another level. Come a little closer. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither has it entered in the heart of man what God has prepared for them that love him. Amen. Come a little closer. Amen. I want to take you somewhere. I want to take you somewhere you haven't been. I want to take you somewhere. Amen. Where man can't take you. I want to do something for you that no one can do for you. Amen. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of God. And we're grateful to know, amen, that, that amen, that is in him. Amen. All things are possible. So what I'm saying today, if, if, if all things are possible with him, amen, amen, if you're veering in and have symptoms of the coronavirus, I'm going to pray for healing. If you have symptoms of high blood pressure, heart failure, well, amen, praise the name of God, sugar diabetes, whatever your condition is, sleep apnea, whatever your situation calls for, let's call on the one that heals. Let's call on the one that set free and one that delivers, one that saved to the utmost, amen, one that can save anybody, one that can heal anybody, any manner of sickness, any manner of disease, God can do it, God will do it. Praise the name of God. He can do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask, all that we think, according to the power that worketh in us. Amen. Jesus said, according to your faith, be it done unto you. Praise the name of God. According to my faith, by his stripes I'm healed. According to my faith. Faith. Amen. I'm going to make it. Praise the name of God. Come hell and high water. Amen. Jesus said, amen, amen. You can make it today. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Don't give up. Don't be weary in well-doing. In due season, you're going to reap if you faint not. Praise the name of God. Have you not known, have you not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator, creator of the ends of the earth, he does not faint. He does not get weary. He does not get tired. He gives power to the faint. To them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. Young men will utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. God will renew your strength today. He'll renew your youth like the eagle. He'll bring you back. He will restore you. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. They that wait upon the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up like wings of an eagle. You shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. Praise the name of God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your loving kindness, for your multitude of tender mercies. Thank you, Lord, for being a God that looked beyond all our faults and see our every need. We thank you, Lord, for the word that has gone forth out of your mouth, shall not return unto your board. It shall accomplish what it please. It shall prosper where it is sent. God, with bowed heads, I, I pray for the entire world. I pray that this, that you allow this message to go worldwide, that others may hear it, that others may see it, that others may be delivered, that others may be healed, that others may be saved. I pray right now, God, for a wide audience of this message. I pray that it go in, in many homes. I pray that it touch many lives. I pray that it touch the lives over this whole world, in every country of this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, according to my faith, be it done unto me. I pray and I solicit, amen, you, God, for this answered prayer. Lord, I thank you right now for your healing power for this entire world. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we love you and we praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you. In Jesus' name, amen, and thank God. Amen. Today we're going to, amen, Romans chapter number 8. 
Amen. It's around verse 37. Amen. It's, amen. It talks about who shall separate us from the love of God. Shall principalities, things present, things to come, death, life, height, nothing shall be able to separate us from the love of Christ. Says we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. But nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. From a subject matter, we want to talk to you from this subject. And it's one that has to be put on a personal basis, an individual basis. For uh, amen, as the elderly people say, every tub got to stand on his own bottom. Our subject is, I can and I will prevail. I can and I will prevail. Amen. The word prevail means to prove more powerful than opposing forces. Because we all have opposing forces in our lives. Opposing forces that try to bombard us, hinder us, put stumbling blocks, dig ditches for us. Amen. But, amen, we have to say within ourselves and, and take the attitude that I can and I will prevail. I will prove more powerful than the opposing forces that try to hinder me, that try to block me, that try to stop me. Praise the name of God. Amen. Uh, why do you say I have to say it? I say you have to say it because the Bible says that life and death lie within the power of the tongue. Your words are powerful. What you say, amen, amen, will have an effect on whether or not you prevail. If you say you're going to make it, you can make it. If you say you're going to overcome this, you can overcome this. If you say you're going to get through it, you can get through it. You can prevail. Though you be tried with fire, you shall come forth as pure gold. But you've got to say it. For power and death lies within the tongue. Your thoughts are powerful. You got to think, no matter how insurmountable the odds are, no matter how challenging it is, you got to think that you can make it. You got to think that you're going to prevail. For the Bible says, as one thinketh, so are they. Amen. If you think you can do it, you can do it. Praise the name of God. The, those that are in the Bible, amen, they thought that they could do it. They said they could do it, amen, and they prevailed. And you have to say it, and you have to think it, that you're going to prevail. You've got to think and say that somehow, some way, I'm going to make it. Somehow, some way, I'm going to get through it. How do I say it, and how do I continually think it? <coughs> by faith. Amen. Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Every time you read and hear the Word of God, allow it to increase your faith. When you read about Job and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Don't leave yourself out. For Grandmama said, there is no secret to what God can do. For what he done for others, 
he'll do the same for you. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they said something. They said, the God who we serve is able to deliver us out of your hand, O king. <laughs> Amen. Uh, see, they, they thought something. Amen. Uh, they thought, amen, even though you put us in the fiery furnace, we will not bow nor worship the golden image which you have set up. Uh, amen. They had faith. Uh, praise the name of God. Uh, and I want to tell you today what you say and what you think, amen, uh, amen, and have faith in, uh, amen, will be tested. Amen. It will, the devil will make it appear like it's not going to happen. Uh, opposing forces will make it appear like it's not going to come through for you. Uh, that's when you got to know 2 Corinthians 5, amen, says, and 7 says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. The uh, reason I know I'm going to prevail. I'm not, amen, basing it off of what it looked like. I'm not basing it off of what it feel like. I'm not basing it on what it seemed like. I'm not basing it on the past. Uh, but I'm basing it on faith, amen, and walking by faith and not by sight. Uh, amen. But we must understand, amen, that when we say it, when we're thinking, and when we say we have faith, uh, amen, in order to prevail, you got to put your faith in action. Uh, why do you say that, brother preacher? Uh, I say it because the Bible says faith without works is dead. Uh, amen. And works without faith is dead. Now, if you're going to prevail, amen, you must be, amen, not just a hearer of the word, uh, but a doer of the word. Uh, if a man looks in the mirror and beholds his face in the mirror, uh, amen, and turns away and forget, amen, whether or not he put his towel straight. Uh, the Bible says, amen, praise the name of God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, he's like beholding his man in a natural glass if he'd be a hearer and not a doer. Uh, but if anyone be a doer and a hearer, uh, this man, amen, this woman, this child shall be blessed in their deed. Uh, amen. Because God going to cause you to prevail. Uh, amen. Praise the name of God. Uh, he said, abide in me. And my word in you. You can ask what you will, and it shall be done. I can and I will prevail. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. I can and I will prevail in spite of the opposing forces. Hallelujah. No weapon that is formed against me ha, shall prosper ha, in spite of the one ha, that is in the world ha, ditch digging ha, plot behind your back ha, talking behind your back ha, I want you to know ha, you can ha, and you will ha, prevail ha. reason I know ha, is because greater ha, greater ha, Greater ha, is he ha, that is within you ha, than he ha, that is within the world. Ha, when you got the greater one, ha, you can say like Paul, ha, I can ha, do all things ha, through Christ ha, which strengthens me. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, yeah. Ha, who shall be able ha, to separate us ha, from the love of Christ, huh? shall life, huh? death, huh? things present, huh? things that come, huh? height, huh? things that are up there, huh? yeah, huh? they may be too high for you, huh? but there's nothing uh, huh? too high for God. Huh? He's so high, huh? you can't go above him. Huh? He's so wide, huh? you can't go around him. Huh? 
He's so low, you can't go under him. But you can prevail if you come in at the door. When you come in at the door, yeah, the ways of sin is there. But if you come in the door, you can and you will prevail. For the gift of God is eternal life. Don't you want it? Don't you want it? Eternal life. Don't you want to see Jesus in the end? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't know huh, what tomorrow holds. Huh? We don't know huh, the outcome huh, of the virus. Huh? But we do know, huh, yeah, huh, yes, sir, huh, that all things huh, work together huh, to the good huh, of them huh, that love God. Huh, to them that are called huh, according huh, to his purpose. Huh? God got a purpose. God got a plan for your life, whom he predestined to be conformed to the image of his firstborn son. God want us to be like Jesus. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. <coughs> When you like Jesus, huh, you shall, huh, you can, huh, and you will huh, prevail. Huh, let this mind huh, be in you huh, that was also huh, in Christ Jesus. Huh, and you can huh, and you will huh, prevail. Huh, keep your mind huh, stayed on him. Huh, you can huh, and you will huh, prevail. Huh, but he that keeps uh, his mind uh, stayed on him, uh, him will he keep uh, in perfect peace. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, killed, uh, talked about, uh, killed, uh, names going around the town, uh, killed, uh, persecuted, uh, killed, uh, lied on, uh, but that's all right, uh, all the day long. Uh, Counted uh, as sheep from the slaughter, uh, but nay, you shall prevail. Hallelujah. Why? Because you're more than a conqueror through Him. Don't forget, it's through Him that loved us. Through His grace and through His mercy, you shall prevail. You're going to make it. He calls of you always to triumph. God bless you, God keep you. You can and you will prevail. He called you.